to problem 8.22. The block shown is released from rest. When the spring is stretched, the distance is d. If k is equal to 50 newtons per meter, mass is 0.5 kilograms, and d is 10 centimeters, and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the horizontal surface is equal to 0.25, determine the speed of the block when it first passes through the position for which the spring is unstretched. So we're actually at a position where it is stretched. We're going to call that position A. And then there will be some point when the spring is no longer stretched. That's position B. And the distance between those two points is D. D is equal to 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters. That's also equal to X, which is the distance that the spring is stretched, 0.1 meters. And we want to find um, the velocity at point B. We're also going to have friction. The frictional force is going to be equal to mu times the normal force. Normal force in this case is equal to the weight of the block. So that's going to be mu mg. And hence the work done by friction is going to be the frictional force times d, cosine of the angle between them. But in this case, the, fr the d is going to the left. The frictional force is against the motion going to the right, so the angle between them is going to be 180 degrees, and the cosine of 180 degrees is going to be a negative 1. So the work done is going to be equal to the negative frictional force times distance. So we're ready for a one equation to rule them all. Kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A plus any work done along the way equals the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. In this case, we started from rest, so our kinetic energy at A is zero. We do have a spring stretched at point A, so we do have potential energy at A. No gravitational potential energy at A or B because uh, this level is going to be defined as our zero height. So the, the potential energy at B will be zero because the spring is no longer stretched to that point. So now we have that the potential energy at A, one-half kx squared, plus the work done along the way, which is a negative frictional force times distance, equals kinetic energy at B, one-half mass times velocity at B squared. We want to solve this for the velocity at B. Multiply both sides by 2. Well, let's do this first. One-half mass, velocity at B squared, equals one-half kx squared minus the frictional force, which is mu mg, and then times d for the work done. Okay, now we'll multiply both sides by 2, divide by the mass, take the square root, so the velocity of b is equal to kx squared minus 2 mu mgd, divided by the mass, all that square root. So that's going to equal 50 times 0.1 squared minus 2 times mu, 0.25, times the mass, 0.5, times 9.8, times d, which is 0.1, over the mass, 0.5, all this square root. And what does that give us? It's the square root of 0.51 which is equal to 0.714 meters per second. So that is our velocity at point B, the speed of the block when it first passes through the equilibrium position, 0.714 meters per second. You could say 71.4 centimeters per second. That's our answer for this problem.